What is up, guys? It is the Big Man Bass, and right now we are up in Punta Gorda at Wild Blue with my good buddy here, Lunchbox Larry Zelko. Right now we're grabbing some food, custom pizzas from Wildwood, and some of the best New York slices I think I've ever had. It's a long drive from Cape, about 40 minutes, but it's worth it every time we make it. Really cool custom pizzas here, but we're going to grub here for a second, and we'll see you guys on the water with today's video. I thought I saw this get hit. Dog, get the fuck out of here. Hey, can you help me out? This thing's tight. Reel this one in. Dog, come on, help me out. You're... Not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. And this down, thinking it was still over there. I wasn't fishing at you. I'm just saying I needed to help. <laughs> Don't reel it in. I'm not. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 What do you mean you're gonna fix it? <laughs> Ain't nothing the little duct tape can't fix. Or I'm gonna kick your ass. You don't pull rods like that. <laughs> You make me want to punt children. Anyways, guys, here's this. Here's this wonderful. That is a beauty, though. I'm gonna hit you with it. Anyway, guys, we got this beautiful peacock, and we're gonna put it back. You gotta kiss it first. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Look, ain't nothing happened. Let go of the rod. Go of the rod, Larry. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that my demon that you broke? I don't know what it is. Look, go to the top and look at the bottom and tell me what it is. I'm scared. <laughs> look, go to the top. <laughs> I don't know how to tell what it is. It's going to say demon yes. right where you're... <sighs> Snap my $250 rod in half, why don't you? In half? You mean three quarters? Two quarters? Well, guys, welcome to the show. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, well, you want to walk up to my truck for me and put it inside the cab? Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate you. Would you like to break my rod? No. I don't want to break anyone's rod. I don't want to break the rest of that over your head. I'll let you. No. Well, this is a great section in our episode to talk about why I use Reaper rods. So I use Reaper rods for two main reasons. One, they're a local rod company, so they actually do very well. They're one of our best-selling rods at Big Boys, so on and so forth. Also, with all of their rods, comes with a no question, one year warranty. So if your best friend decides he wants to come fishing and debut his first time in one of your YouTube videos and decides that he wants to pull line from the top of your rod to try to bring the line back out, so you can, you know, get some line out and do all that fun stuff and snaps your rod in half. 
All you got to do is text Reaper Rods the dimensions of your rod that was just with you in one single piece and let them know what happened to it and they'll send a replacement straight to you. So it doesn't matter if your tailgate eats your rod or your best friend doesn't know how rods bend and snaps it in half for you or a fish actually does it. Can you can contact... We <laughs> Technically a fish did it. <laughs> You can contact Reaper Rods and they'll get you a replacement rod either ready for you to pick up or sent down to one of their many distributors like us at Big Boys Bait and Tackle for you to pick up. Not a sponsor. If anyone's worried about Larry, Larry and I are like brothers, so there's no reason to be worried about how we talk to each other. This is actually polite for most days. There we go, that's a better fish. Big old horn mail. What's up, bud? Are you, are you hanging out with your girlfriend? And then I happened to uh, hook you in the mouth? Oh no, you just decided you wanted to eat that whole thing, didn't you? That's what you wanted to do. Good lord. Beautiful. Honky head male right here. He just totally cut my hand open. Did he? Oh yeah. A beautiful fish here. We give ourselves a beautiful little release. Where'd he cut your hand open? How? About how abrasive his mouth is. Tighten that drag up. What is that? Is that a smallmouth? No, that Larry, there's no smallmouth in the state of Florida. So that's a baby horsemouth. Yep. <laughs> Double up. Nice double, Larry. Cheers, Larry. Cheers, my guy. Come on. Larry, Larry. I got this. Okay. <laughs> What the hell? What? I'm just looking at the... The fly? Yeah. Thank you, my friend. I had some smaller fish looking at it. So, I'm going to give these smaller fish a presentation they can't resist
mine? Okay. I want the new one. Give him a big boy shot. Oh, uh, yeah, we all work there. Oh, <laughs> well, two of us. There you go. Me and big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and big boy. He's an honor employee. Hand me a shiny please. There's circle hooks on there just in case you were wondering. Yeah, yeah I mean, they hit on them things big time. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't get hooked, but I definitely got one of them. How in the world did this happen? One eternity later. Here, I'm just going to catch this fish that's sitting right here and just call it a day. <laughs> There's a bass sitting right here. Yeah. Just catch a fish. Hi, oh, bud. Okay. Well, did you get these earlier this morning? I got them about like three, four hours ago. But they also, the bucket fell over in the bed of my truck. I got a fish. Hello, fish. Did I actually get a fish yet? Why'd you do that? There's no fish in the trees. Uh, you were trying to catch some tree bass? The way about tree fitting? Yeah. 